focus a lot on what we call care, which are the core values of the service that we're doing, community, accountability, reciprocity, and equity. And it, it just stems, all of our work stems from those ideas, and we're working towards understanding exactly how we can be accountable and equitable and involve ourselves in the community. Knowing how far to go and understanding what is needed and not being controlling or taking over anything, just being understanding of what, what people need and what people want. Hello and welcome to the BFS eNews Podcast. I'm Andy Cohen, your host. You just heard from Juliet, an 11th grader, about the service learning and civic engagement program here at Brooklyn Friends School. And in studio now is Natanya Kramer, who's the director of our service learning and civic engagement program. So Natanya, what can we expect to hear today? I think that the best way to understand the impact of our social justice, service learning and civic engagement program at Brooklyn Friends is to hear directly from our students. So throughout this past week, I interviewed students from preschool through 12th grade to hear what they have learned. They wonderfully exemplify the progression of our program school-wide. I hope you enjoy. My name is Gemma and I'm in the blue room and I don't ever be mean to my friends. Josephine, kindergarten. Casey wants children to grow up and be a change maker. There's still a lot of laws that are unfair. My name is Cleo and I'm first grade. Well, we learned it about change makers. All I really care about is um, that people don't litter because when I walked out of my house today, there was garbage all over the floor. So tonight we're going to sweep it up. I'm Zahan. I'm in second grade. Everybody can make a difference, no matter the skin color, the gender, the age. Everybody can do what they think is right. You can make change by marching, and people have, two, two people we've learned about actually written news, published newspapers yeah, to tell jokes. people what what's happening and what's unfair in the world. My name is Harry, I am nine years old, and I started in the Family Center. This year we learned about many, many more things. One thing I've learned is that everything helps. As long as you're doing something and you're thinking about what, how this is affecting the world and things like that, it, you don't have to do like one giant protest, you don't have to set up something like that. As long as you get the word out and do Anything small like that, that still helps a lot. It felt really good. It felt like we were like really trying to do something good for the world, and it felt kind of different from what you normally do in school. Do you think you are change makers? Hard to say. I think, <laughs> I think we're getting there. Hi, I'm Talia. I'm in the fifth grade at BFS, and there are like four different types of service learning. There's direct service, which is like where you really like interact and you do something directly. There's indirect service, which is some examples are like donating, advocacy, where you're standing up for someone or you're like doing something that you think is right. And then there's research, which is where you're kind of learning about the topic and learning about what you want to do. Kids are definitely like getting involved with these um, types of service and uh, they're doing a lot. My name is August. I'm in sixth grade now. Service learning is a really big part of life because it like helps you throughout life because you never know who you're going to meet and if you have say say you meet someone on the street and they're having hard times you can maybe you might know about that so then you can maybe help them and you know what to do hi i'm jones um i'm in sixth grade we do a lot with service learning and we have a lot of fun with it and we have a lot of different experiences starting in the lower school and going up through middle school and even to high school my name is lily boyd i am in seventh grade 
I feel like the service learning here has connected me to so many other people. Like I've become so so much closer to so many people because of the service learning we've been doing and sharing similar ideas about activism what and how to be an activist through service learning. I got to help people in a way that I don't normally get to help people. It's better to be part of a community fighting for a whole community than standing alone and fighting for a certain part of the community. I find it so important and so vital to learn about and so vital to be a part of because for me what the service learning has done here has inspired me to like do things like go to the Women's March in D.C. and go to the Climate Change March in 2014 and do all this activism stuff. And although I've always felt like an activist, I feel like this has always pushed me over the edge and pushed me to go farther and pushed me to do all that I can for activism and do so many things. My name is Lily Massag. I'm a sophomore. At Brooklyn Friends, service is not just like community service, but it's also learning about communities and social justice issues and how that relates to ourselves and how we can make a difference. And it's not just about the number of hours that one receives. It's like other schools have our limits or requirements, but it's more about creating relationships and um, finding ways that you can take action within the community. So my name is Ela and I'm in 10th grade and I think what I really like about um, service learning especially here is that um, we're allowed to choose what we want to do and find things we're actually interested in um, so we're not just filling hours of doing community service but that it's actually meaningful to us. Um, I'm Amanda Becker, I'm an 11th grader. Engaging with the issue and learning about it before you actually go out and do service allows for there to be opportunities for everyone to engage. Hi, my name is Juliette Ramey LaRiviere and I'm in 11th grade. I think that the 10th grade experience and actually the experience throughout my entire time at BFS since 6th grade has led up to the CAS program. CAS is Creativity Activity Service. Each of your projects has to involve one of those strands. I feel really prepared and understanding exactly how I want to impact my community. My name is Kayla French and oh, I'm in 12th grade now. Know where you're coming from when you work with other people. Like know that you go to Brooklyn Friends and that you're in a place of privilege just because of that. No matter what else is going into your social identifiers like that alone can set you apart in big ways. Not doing toxic charity, so like really researching the background of organization you're going to be with and like going in knowing like the community norms and things like that so you can be very informed and like part of the effort and not doing it to benefit yourself or really doing it to benefit everyone. My name is Malik Dunkley. I'm in 12th grade. Service learning at Brooklyn Friends School has shaped me into the person that I am now and is responsible for a lot of the opportunities I've been able to enjoy. An important thing that our service learning did for me was it increased my social consciousness, responsiveness, and inspired in me a desire for change. It wasn't as if I didn't want injustice to be solved or I wasn't aware of the inequality in the world, but service learning at BFS helped create an ambition and a goal to be a part of the change I wanted to see. And all this influence did not stop there. Apart from working towards being an agent of global change, I also developed a fervor for increasing my own understanding in order to learn more and acknowledge intersectionality and the complexity of the issues that plague our world. We emphasize the importance of a leader or members of a group that are aiming to help to truly understand the need of their specific areas. It really focuses on educating oneself and reciprocity. My 10th grade service and justice seminar increased my self-confidence, so I was able to take these steps to being, becoming a more learned individual and take risks that would result in acceptance into transformational programs. By engaging in conversation pertaining to social justice and current events, I was able to find my voice and be encouraged to speak my truth and by engaging in service learning, I was able to exercise what we learned in class and see the impact well-intentioned and aware people could have. And I have service learning at BFS and Natanya Kramer, one of the most thoughtful and well-appointed teachers I've ever had, to thank. And thank you, Malik, and all our students. And thank you, Natanya Kramer, for being here today. And let's all remember to let, let your, your life speak. speak.